Hello, our weather this weekend and into the early part of next week will have a very tropical feel about it. That doesn't mean it's always going to be dry. In fact, there'll be continued wet weather across northwestern parts of Britain. But elsewhere, increasingly warm temperatures. In some places, it will feel more like summer with temperatures returning to the low or even mid 20s. But by the start of next week, we're thrust back into autumn with some very windy weather, especially across western parts of the British Isles. All courtesy of this. This is Hurricane Ophelia, currently a Category 1 hurricane, drifting around in the mid-Atlantic. Now, over the next few days, she's going to start to move northwards. As she does so, she'll leave tropical waters behind and become an ex-hurricane. However, she will draw up a lot of warm air for the weekend. And for a lot of places, it's going to be increasingly humid. That humidity means a lot of cloud as we begin Saturday. A dull start to the day, not feeling particularly summery at first this weekend. There'll also be outbreaks of rain through central areas. Gradually, the focus for rain will return to western Scotland, parts of Northern Ireland as well. Whilst further south, the skies brighten, the cloud lifts, and in any sunny spells, temperatures will approach 20 Celsius, above average for the middle of October. Now, here's the weather front that's providing that rain in the northwest, and it's just going to linger through Saturday and into Sunday, bringing further bouts of wet and windy weather for northwestern parts of Britain, in particular western Scotland and the higher ground. A miserable weekend to come here. But further south, although it will start cloudy on Sunday, that cloud will tend to break up, particularly across southern and southeastern areas. And with plenty of sunshine coming through by Sunday afternoon, those temperatures will be even warmer, 23 possibly 24 Celsius in the southeast of England, fairly widely 20 Celsius, even up as far north as northeast England. But remember, Ophelia, she is making her way north and she's moving fairly quickly. As she moves quickly north, well, we're starting to firm up on the details and it looks likely that she will approach the Republic of Ireland by the start of next week. Now, of course, she won't be a hurricane, she'll be an ex-hurricane, but she will pack some very wet and windy weather. Outbreaks of rain continuing in northwest Scotland, further rain for the Republic of Ireland, and the windiest weather, although affecting Ireland, looks likely that western parts of Britain will also see widespread gales, perhaps gusts up to 70 or 80 miles per hour for the most exposed parts of western Britain. But not everyone will be affected by those winds. They will cause some significant impacts in places. But further east, well sheltered from those winds, we're also going to draw up a lot of warm weather. Temperatures in the east approaching the mid-20s. So a lot of weather going on over the next few days. There could be warnings issued for Monday's winds. You can stay up to date with all the details on the Met Office website, on our mobile app, and through social media.